Bethlehem. Um, so many beautiful souls out there. I'm so proud to have you all here. I also know that you had Miss Paula after you, so I'd really like to take this opportunity to thank her for all the work she's done. And to thank all of you for coming. I also want to take this opportunity to welcome Ed Pavlich. He is a dear friend and someone that I admire, whose work I admire greatly. Um, of course, I'm not going to go into all the awards he's won, but I will tell you, and I know his book will be, int will be introduced to you. It, it has already in some of your classrooms. But his latest two books, winners, uh, well, he's had uh, uh, several latest new books, but winners have yet to be announced, a song for Dan Danny Hathaway and Labor's Lost. Um, left unfinished are wonderful uh, literary works and Ed is also an amazing James Baldwin scholar and I hope you get the opportunity perhaps after to speak to him a little so thank you Ed for, ha for being with us <laughs> um, so today I'm going to read some poems about uh, identity I know we've had this conversation uh, in the classrooms, I've had it with many of you, uh, what it is to be Palestinian. Uh, of, of course, we know what it is to be Palestinian, but we occupy so many different spaces. And myself as a Palestinian um, that has lived a, such a diasporic life, the, these poems that I will read sort of reflect um, the different spaces I've existed as a Palestinian. Broken music. Maybe when we are ready for music, Every instrument around is broken. Maybe when we are ready for freedom, the heart can no longer beat. Maybe if we grow madness, we find what we were meant to see. Maybe if desire begs, play a tune in E minor, the slow river of wings will reveal itself. But it had to come to this instead, a broken violin, the heart unresolved. An argument with Jesus or Muhammad, exile has its ways. Now your breath is a flat tune limping its way around the wake of your mouth. In the ruins, um, I met our wonderful um, Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish in my early 20s. And of course, uh, all of you know he had a uh, important magazine, literary magazine, Al Carmel. And as well, I've spoken to him a lot about uh, Haifa and Carmel. And this poem really is written um, after Mahmoud Darwish in the ruins. He comes without her. I ask him if he lives close to the sea now. He says, there's no water, only water. No song, only song. No version of death I'm comfortable with. 
I imagine his body against the waves, a rock beside him, words tight around it. There's no cry, only cry. No view of Carmel, only Carmel. No one around to listen. Where's the country? It seems useless to count how long it's been since we've seen it. He says nothing, and I wonder why she didn't come. Had she forgotten his name in Arabic? I move towards him, move to feel the light against my dreams, to feel what remains. He is everywhere. Who is he now? Who am I? Have we found a dove, an earth? Is he everywhere? Then she arrives and asks him, why are you here? Didn't I tell you to leave? You did, he said, but like you, I couldn't go. When I um, went to the United States, and uh, I used to say I'm from Bethlehem, and at that time Bethlehem was not so much in the news. So I'd say I'm from Bethlehem, and they'd immediately think it was Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And of course, since then, I, from Latin America, everywhere I go, I look for a Bethlehem um, in that country. And believe it or not, there's always one somewhere. But this following poem is really about uh, all the linguistic spaces in which I exist and all the countries uh, that I have lived in, but never forgetting where I'm from. Blue Hours. In the blue hour, the Negrita cries, I hide not to deceive the darkness or myself. La Negrita is not far from where I stand, her eyebrows, her one hand. I too am visible now, behind the tree, behind the cry, behind the night, and all I want to know is her name and ask her. Have you ever heard your heart undressing? Seen a stray dog at midnight and realized he understands this hour better than you will understand any hour? Have you ever seen yourself in every woman with your eyes? or with women with eyes more difficult than yours. She offers me tea, we end up drinking coffee, trying to reach the bottom of the cup, unafraid. Now, my teeth are stained, my English failing me, my Arabic fading, my Spanish starting to make sense. We are in a finca now. Perhaps we are safe. Perhaps we desire nothing else. But I can't stop bowing in prayer five times a day. My country comes to me, tells me, compatriota, I will always find you, no matter what language you are speaking. Um, this morning, we had a you know, very emotional trip uh, uh, to Al-Quds in Jerusalem, and we also entered the mosque. I hadn't been inside. We hadn't been given I'm, permission for, for, I think I hadn't been there in seven years. So it was a really emotional moment. And, but while I went inside and while I was there, I realized it doesn't really matter where, how far we go. We always know our road, um, the road back. And so this is a very short poem, Chariots. There are men who die with the wrong name. Others who invent, forget, or doubt their names. I know every syllable of my name in Arabic. Every word is a direction. And I'm just going to end. Uh, I know many of you know me, and many of you know how proud I am to come from, from Bethlehem, and um, how much I'd like to stay and hope to stay uh, longer and be with all of you. So this poem really is dedicated to all the Bethlehemites. Talhamiye. <laughs> and to our foreign guest, that's Bethlehemite in Arabic. I heard I'm an Armenian who believes that stars are the pieces of lightning history left to space. I heard I have Roman blood and my brother is Turkish and Greek. I heard my heart is by the mosque of Omar, by the nativity church, beside the talisman, and an old man without teeth or keys. I heard my poems turned into stones with Aramaic letters. I heard that here, invaders push natives aside, natives hand their names to trees, and trees rehearse verses. Freedom left. I heard I have a house made of Mediterranean light, except 
I only heard this in springtime, and spring doesn't seem to exist here anymore. They took all of our trees. Perhaps Jesus can explain what happened. Or perhaps all I need to know is that I heard, but this I know. I'm an Arab. The seven quarters of the old city has left me seven keys so I can always enter. Isso, amor.